Garu is one of the major antagonists in the One Punch Man series. Like his name meaning hungry wolf, he is always eager to challenge both heroes and monsters alike. He is a major adversary of the Hero Association and Monster Association as well, granting him the name Human Monster. Even Sitch of the Hero Association views him as a great threat despite him only being a human. His childhood circumstances led him to his hatred for heroes and his decision to become an undefeatable monster himself. Because of this, he decided to venture to Bang's dojo during adolescence. But he was later dismissed from the dojo by Bang himself after he brutally assaulted many of the students there. After this event, he became a self-proclaimed hero hunter, defeating anyone who crosses his path or insults him. Although Garo is a villain and considered evil by most of the people, he possesses a sense of morality. He fights heroes without eliminating them. When he was a child, he was unpopular and can be seen reading a book. One day, he played hero with a popular kid named Tachan and impersonated the role of monster. When he was kicked in the face by Tachan, he called the teacher. But other children defended Tachan by saying to him that that's how the game works. He later watched an episode of Justice Man on TV and was extremely irritated by the fact that all the monsters losing to him. He asked his father when there would be a villain that could defeat Justice Man, but he was denied by saying to him that all the monsters in the end will die because they are monsters. Unable to accept the fact, he decided to become the strongest monster and never lose again and to change the scenario. Before going any further, I would like to tell you that some part after this will contain spoilers from the One Punch Man manga. So, if you are ready, here we go. In the latest chapter of One Punch Man, Garu definitely proves that he has surpassed his roots. While Garu has become increasingly powerful over the course of Monster Association arc, he still has deep-rooted feelings stemming from his past failures. Now he has finally laid those insecurities to rest. Garo thoroughly rejects the philosophy of hero association and strives to become a monster instead of a hero. Recently, Garo has driven himself to push past his limiters and acquire the superhuman strength and agility that justify his status as a monster. In his most recent fight in the chapter of 157, he has proven this to the person whose opinion matters most of all, himself. Garo was once a talented martial artist under Bang's training. He was Bang's best discipline as he has shown exceptional strength and skills under his teachings. His ruthless nature got him expelled, but Garo continued his training on his own time, eventually learning many of Bang's techniques. Although he was a human, Garo's overall powers and abilities were noticeably superhuman and he could rival with S-class superheroes as a result. He would eventually train himself through various battles and bloodshades before eventually becoming a powerful monster that could even take on Saitama himself. The real reason why Garo turned into monster is because his hate for heroes and interest in monsters. Since childhood, Garo has an obsession with monster. He watched cartoons about heroes and villains and wondered why the hero always wins regardless of the situation. This caused him to be bullied by a lot of other children. When he grew up, he became obsessed with heroes and justice. His ideal hero was someone who just wants to fight evil and doesn't desire anything from anyone in return, which is in case would be someone like Saitama. Eventually his obsession made him snap and he became twisted. He decided that since these heroes are hopeless, he will instead become a monster that will rule the world through evil and make everyone else scared of doing anything evil or criminal. He then decided to promote himself as a monster and started hunting heroes. He continued to beat up people and become more enraged and deluded after each hero he hunted down. This constant battle and making himself believe that he was the monster caused his body to undergo monsterization, which is a term used in One Punch Man universe to describe the process of turning into a monster after certain experiences such as eating too much crab and obsessing over crabs results in a person turning into a crab monster. Eventually, he turned into a real monster when he faced all the heroes raiding the monster association's hideout. But what are Garo's real powers? Actually, Garo doesn't have any kind of supernatural powers. He just have everything that a normal person would have but just on an immense scale. Like extreme strength, Garo's strength is superhuman and comparable to that of S-class level. He was able to rip off blue fire's arm off without difficulty and easily break heavy tank Loy Cloth's arm while knocking him out with a single strike. He was also able to heavily injure Tank Top Master. 
an S-class hero with a barrage of punches and defeat him after getting serious. Later after he was almost crushed in his fight with Royal Ripper and Bug God, he emerged as half monster. In this state, Garo was able to put up a good fight against super alloy Darkshine, although he suffered great injuries from his attacks. As their battle rages on, Garo's ability increases to a point that he can match Super Alloy Darkshine's full power, Super Alloy Bazooka, with his own attacks without any difficulty or damage. He also defeated Royal Ripper and Puri Puri Prisoner. And it's not just about the strength, but he has immense speed and reflexes. He possesses an extreme amount of speed and reflexes as he manages to dodge a point-blank bullet from Golden Ball despite being caught by surprise. His amazing speed was once again shown when he could easily dodge and deflect all the attacks from Metal Bat, an S-class hero, and even moved so fast that he seems to disappear from the hero's sight. Garo was able to keep up with overgrown Rover and escape from his side despite being bombarded with energy blast in his half-monster form. Due to Garo evolving through this fight, his speed drastically increased to the point where he could leave after images of himself as he moved at higher speed. In this first form, Garo moved faster than what top S-class heroes like Atomic Samurai can even register. And in his fight against Tatsumaki, he destroyed the rubble surrounding him in hyperspeed. Superhuman durability is also Garo's speciality. Garo is capable of taking heavy hits from various class S heroes, as well as monsters that are above him, including dragon level threats. In his monster form, the only thing that is capable of hurting him is one of the Saitama's punches, which even then he has shown he can survive. With durability, he even have accelerated growth. Garo's main power is his accelerated growth, in which the more battles he engages in and either wins or loses, the greater his physical capabilities becomes. As he continues to fight with no resistance, Garo has been able to increase his strength, speed and durability to that of a monstrous state and has gained new abilities. And there's another last ability which Garo possesses which nearly makes him unbeatable, which is generative healing factor. As a part of his accelerated growth, Garo has gained the ability to regenerate severe wounds and damage and torn limbs from his body. This ability is noticeably well shown during his battle with Saitama once he was evolved into a monster. While Garo's personal growth and physical growth is great for his character, it is potentially disastrous for Hero Association. While he has been working with heroes to some extent to defeat the heavy hitters of the Monster Association, Garo is still an enemy of the Hero Association. And the manga shows that Saitama, King and a crew of TV reporters clearly noticed what he did. So, a clash between Garo and the heroes may be coming soon. If it does, Garo will now be more prepared than before, having overcome his past failures and now being one of the strongest characters in One Punch Man in both body and mind. While Saitama is someone who destroys monsters, Garo can be considered a monster who destroys heroes. Garo is one of the two villains to survive long in battle against Saitama, giving him a rather challenging battle. Although the Hero Association suggests that Garo is a dragon level threat, but he claims himself to be a god level threat. But this was never confirmed by one or Muratado. What are your thoughts on this topic and what are your thoughts on Garo? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news theories and breakdown videos. So if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was for today's video guys and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.